Hey everybody, Clint and T here. We got a chance to go see Miss Peregrine's School for Peculiar Children. Yes. Or is it home? Miss Miss Peregrine's. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Yes. T, I'm gonna let you go first. Well, my, 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 how the tables have turned. Oh, don't, don't, don't bring me into this. I Just what did you think of it? I, uh, I don't think I've seen you this pissed leaving a screening since Terminator Genesis. I hated it. Pissed off, hated full hot, movie. full hot. I don't think it was a great movie, but there were a lot of things that I liked in it. I feel like there were missteps along the way. I think the initial sort of core of the story, which of course it's based on some uh, YA novels, I think there was a lot of stuff in there where I could kind of understand why they wanted to turn this into a movie and what the appeal of the original books must have been. You know, it's very imaginative. It definitely captures that sort of fantasy adventure element and there's just a lot of cool ideas in there. There's a lot of things in there that are definitely not for children though. A lot of imagery and things that I think were quite terrifying and frightening. Yeah, it goes dark in, in a couple of spots. But where this fell short for me was the pacing. I feel like the first hour and a half of the movie was extremely slow and I was just like, can we cut to the actual story? I feel like they're laying a lot of pipe instead of just telling the story and advancing the plot. And once it did get going, I felt like it was pretty good, but that's just like the final 25 minutes of the movie. Yeah. And the other thing that didn't really work for me was the star. I found him terribly mm. uncharismatic. Oof. Listen. I don't disagree with really anything that you said. I think there are b the the bones of this. There's a good it movie. It could have been a good. It could have been good, and I think that's part of what led to my frustration about it. My biggest takeaway is I one. It is a layup of a Tim Burton movie. Mm -hmm. Like the the subject matter, uh, even the visual elements from the original YA novel and from the graphic novel adaptation of it. It makes perfect sense for Tim Burton to go and do this. Like, I no kidding, no duh, you went and got <laughs> Tim Burton to make this movie. What is also painfully obvious is that Tim Burton could not give a shit right. about this movie. Everything from the performances, uh, particularly of the lead actor, yeah. is just, it, it, there's nothing there, They're nothing really, going on. really, really poorly acted. None of the performances have any sort of life behind the eyes at all. Even Ava Green, like trying to like quirk up Miss Peregrine mm -hmm. as, as best she can, just nothing. None of it lands. The camera doesn't move. <laughs> like you said, there's a lot of super imaginative things going on mm -hmm. there. These kids have an interesting look. They have mm -hmm. interesting stories but none of it is shown in any sort of interesting way. And none it of was it meets the potential it could have had. I remember being kind of surprised by how patient I was being with it because there were so many cool bits and pieces. I was just like, come on, this is gonna get good. It's yeah. gonna get good. And then it got kind of good toward the very end and then the movie's over. The movie opened with a title sequence. Uh, it was all graphics. It, it wasn't on top of any actual narrative. Um, but I was just looking at the cast mm -hmm. going like, Ava Green, and I was like, Chris O'Dowd. Oh, Chris O'Dowd's here? Cool. Judy Samuel Dench? Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Judy Dench shows up for a few minutes. Uh, and then, like, Allison Janney's in this movie? Mm -hmm. She's great. Like, the cast that they had was legit really good. And I was like, okay, great. And then there's a hard cut from the title sequence to a still shot, uh, to a wide shot of a beach mm -hmm. that is hilarious. That was the <laughs> That was great. That was the yeah. most Tim Burton-y thing throughout the film. And, and, and I, was, I loved it. I, I was sitting there thinking like, okay, great. Yeah. Good cast. We're off and running on this one. And granted, it was just one cut. But I mean, as soon as anybody opened their mouth, I was like, oh. Yeah. And I think throughout the film, there are almost like little Tim Burton Easter eggs where they'll remind you like, by the way, he did direct yeah. this, even though it doesn't feel like it. This is directed by the skeleton of Tim Burton. <laughs> right, exactly. It's, so it was just kind of a bummer because I think there's a lot of us out there who are kind of rooting for Tim Burton to like get back to his roots and be that really interesting creative director. Yeah. And there are images and things in the movie that are evocative of old school Tim Burton, but it's just not there in terms of the filmmaking. It's very bland. For a movie that has so many crazy things in it, it is the most boring piece of garbage movie I've seen in a long time. <laughs> oh yeah, I said it. I'm gonna be mean about it. Like I. This movie got me hot, and I'm not exactly <laughs> sure why. I really don't understand why was, this movie of all the movies. I have no connection to this. I'd never read the books. Yeah, I was me not neither. a fan of Miss Peregrine going into this. I had zero uh, horses in this race mm -hmm. going into this movie, and it got me hot. And yeah. I don't understand why. It was just. Uh, 
bad. It was just that bad. My feeling was I wasn't super optimistic about this just because Tim Burton has had so many missteps in the past 10, 15 years, a lot of them involving Johnny Depp. And even in this movie, he's got a young actor who looks a lot like a young Johnny Depp and an actress who looks a lot like a young Helena Bonham Carter. Right. So there's definitely like he's got his types in there, but it just doesn't, it doesn't do it. I think if you were curious about this movie, Maybe catch it at a matinee, save a couple bucks, because there is like a cool section in there toward the end, I think. I wouldn't say it's safe for kids, though. I'm not I can't quite recall if this is PG-13 or not. I would definitely say you would want at least a 13-year-old to bring to this, because there's some images in there that are uh, yeah. truly frightening. <laughs> I think there's some underwater stuff that was kind of cool, like mm -hmm. the way, but you know, uh, who cares? Yeah. Who cared? Nobody cared while they were making it, so why should we care watching it? Like, Truly it's grotesque just, monsters, if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, there's some, cool and there's monsters. one sequence. Uh, there's one sequence where these two little uh, like automaton type things start fighting each other, mm -hmm. which looked almost like it was stop motion. I can't yes. imagine they actually did it stop motion. It, it made me feel like it could have been, even yeah. though I know it wasn't. It was very, it was very like super early, like pre Edward Scissorhands, Tim Burton. Yeah, like it yeah. was. It, so that was kind of fun, and I was like, hey more of that, you guys, and then just none of it. No. Nobody could be bothered. Okay, I, you know what, that's enough. I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. Uh, if you can't tell what I thought about this movie by now, um, you I don't haven't know, been go, listening. Just go see it, I suppose. You somehow you clicked <laughs> ahead to the end slate, which is an unusual YouTube habit. Um, <laughs> but let us know what you think of uh, Miss Peregrine. If you've read the books already, if you're uh, planning on seeing it, how excited are you about it? What's your favorite Tim Burton movie? Let's talk about the good times, huh? Beetle Let's juice. talk about Beetlejuice. 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 Let us know down in the comments below. Click like and subscribe, and we will see you next time here on Cinefix. It's just salty. Just old Full man, salt. just old man salty about Full this movie. Full salt. Grr.